r slash ask reddit when is quantity better than quality points in any match doesn't matter how you scored a point's a point unless you're a contestant on whose line is it anyway because the points don't matter and now it's time for scenes from a hat times it would be inappropriate to begin removing your clothes do you know why i pulled you over happy birthday grandma Pretty sure a stroke in golf could be considered a point against you so might be one flaw to your plan. The quality of the points still don't matter. EHH the word quantity doesn't specify high or low. So technically as I hit a shitty drive and a lucky but not quality shot to get on the green and two put. I can still hit par. Good quantity. Shit quality. Great shots with a shitty roll into the sand. Quantity still beats quality. If you're an alcoholic then probably booze. Hand sanitizer squad where you at? Mouthwash gang checking in. Wet isn't bobby pins because you lose them anyway. I can't agree more. In my household, there's also the possibility that our cat has stolen them. I'd rather have extra over needing to wrestle the cat for something I paid way too much for. But my pug is obsessed with bobbins. AKA hair ties. Loves to chew twang fling them. I buy them in bulk to keep him happy. Yes, but there has to be a minimum quality. I'm never using a rubber band as a hair tie again. Spending time with your kids. Your kids don't care that you took them to France for two weeks. If you're not around the rest of the year, it's much more important to be present and to be a part of their daily routines. Edit for clarification. When I say spending time, I mean interacting with them, not just occupying the same room and being inattentive. Also, yes, I get it, if they spend all day beating you, then it's not great. I'd like to think I didn't have to be explicit about that. My dad literally took me to Paris for a week as a surprise after spending my childhood being emotionally and verbally abusive towards me and spending no time with me as a father. I've literally been in this position and I agree wholeheartedly lol. We don't talk anymore. That shit sucks because all that ends up happening is you go to Paris only to be abused there. What a great ducking vacation. Pretty much. I loved going. It was beautiful. But I can't unhear the things he said about what I ate there. My relationship at the time. Me being excited about benign things. I'm in Paris. You're supposed to be excited and eat good food without a second thought. I thought it would let up for a week but it didn't. Zerg rush. Speed is a quality and a quantity. Also, Vespine gas. You'll hear all the sales talk about using premium quality, but it's all the same stuff. Never heard anyone say, we need better Vespine gas, but we need more Vespine gas. You must construct additional pylons. You must construct better pylons. No, right? Dollars. It'll take 1 million even if they are in barely acceptable condition. Alright, 1 million Zimbabwean dollars, just for you. r slash them and key score. Better than most comments there, granted, and you die from cancer, really? Come on now. Yep, most people aren't really good at monkeys poor. The point is to duck with their wording, you can't add shit. A good example from fairly odd parents is I wish for an omelet, and Timmy gets an omelet with no plate or utensils. Some people would say okay but her omelet has chards of glass in it for no duckin reason. Bees. When Oprah Winfrey gave away a bunch of bees on her show, it didn't matter if they were top quality or not. A bee is a bee. Did, did I miss this episode? Beespeecebees.com. The fact that someone bought this domain just to host the meme really makes it funnier. Guitar picks. It doesn't matter if you have a crappy hand-me-down one or a fancy collector's one. You're going to lose it one way or another. I met a guitar player a few weeks ago who mentioned that she has the same pick since. Dunno. 15 years or so. It's a teardrop shaped one. Which was pretty expensive. As she said. I have one that's 20 years old. I haven't been using it that long. It just got lost for 19 and a half years. I don't know of any pick that wouldn't wear down to a nub after 15 years of playing. Maybe she just held on to it. GPA. Unless your school does weighted, you only need AS to get a good one. Everyone in my graduating class with 4.0S took 4 years of home ec and gym class to blow off their time in school. Yup, I took a bunch of super hard classes. 
did loads of work, and ended up with 3.6. My friend took a bunch of easier classes, and got 4.0 without any massive effort. In my country you have to take the harder classes to get into any respectable university, so you couldn't just take 25 gym classes. Oh yeah, he didn't quite do that. He took all the normal classes, and more arts humanities focused classes, which at out HS were relatively easy. We both did well on standardized tests and got into our first choice colleges. This is going to get harder and harder as more schools offer honors and AP classes at higher weights or move the GPA scale up for a potential of 5.0. Yeah my advanced classes were a grade higher. So a B plus was weighted like an A. AP was weighted a whole grade letter difference. Really helped me keep that 3.0 during my senior and junior years. Funeral kazoos. The duck is a funeral kazoo? I am glad you asked, and what a good question that is. What is it? Well just as the name states, it is a kazoo you use specifically during funerals. Are you tired of looking at all the people despairing over the loss of a good friend, family and loved member of the community? Is that widow annoying you with her tears over her husband's cold, dead body? Wanna make little Tommy stop bowling his eyes out because his last words to his dad were I hate you. You don't understand me and that's a regret he will carry for the rest of his life? Well, Funeral Kazoo is your best bet to lighten the mood and turn all those frowns into smiles. Just one single blow and you will get the party started. Because I am sure good old watcher name would want you to remember him with a warm smile. Puts the fun in funeral. If you rearrange the letters in funeral, you get real fun. According to a lot of teachers and professors, words in a paper, I hated that so much in high school and college where I would have to add a bunch of extra bullshit to a paper to meet the minimum amount of words. I'm a university professor, and that's why I no longer have an exact page count. I would like a reaction paper of 2-5 pages. Say what you have to say and keep it at that. It still freaks some students out. They have been programmed by their prior educational experiences to deliver an exact page word count. The ambiguity is too much for them. I just remind them that lots of things in the real world don't have page counts. That's interesting. Most of my teacher would only give a maximum number of pages, but not a minimum. That way the bad essays wouldn't be too long xd. I'd have written you a shorter letter, but I didn't have the time. I do the same thing. Your report should be as long as it needs to be to explain what you've done, and no longer. If you add extra pages just to fill it up, you're not making me happy since I now have to spend more time reading useless crap. My English professor used to say an essay should like a woman's skirt. Long enough to cover everything but short enough to keep it interesting. Most professors I've had actually had the opposite rule, with a maximum number of words allowed. The idea being that if you can't express your ideas clearly in xxx words, you're either waxing too much poetic or biting more than what you've been asked to chew. Mother duck and Tupperware lids. Happiness. I'd rather have more people happy than fewer people with more happiness. When you eat rice. One good rice grain won't satisfy hunger but a cup of mediocre rice will. Rice is great when you're hungry and you want to eat like 10,000 of something. Mitch Hedberg. I used to steal jokes. I still do. But I used to too. Edible food. For some people at least. Try surviving for a year on margarine. Then try surviving a year on potatoes, oranges and salmon. Quality of food is just as important. Hydrogen. When creating a new universe, honestly you need so much hydrogen. If you have enough, the quality emerges from quantity anyway. All the heavy metals and galaxies and nebulas and life and sentience all that shit. So that's what I've been doing wrong. Need more hydrogen. You know what to do boys. Time to buy some water bottles. God is that you? Not yet. I don't have enough hydrogen. Money. When trying to break the YouTube algorithm. Munchies. I don't want a fine meal. I want to be able to consistently put something in my face. Goblins. Hair ties. I swear I always break them. Even the good quality ones. And they get lost. Like. Buy a pack with 30. Two weeks later you'll only have 3 of them left and no idea where the rest ended up. People buying your stuff. 
100 people buying your things at asking price versus one guy buying your things at 1000 asking price. Toilet paper. No matter how good it is, if there's not enough, it's bad. Puppies. A good puppy is great, but being covered in a swarm of them is heavenly. People showing up at your tag sale. When you're a Soviet soldier and the year is 1944. When food is present. Okay I don't need no tiny meal I know damn well I'm gonna finish within 5 minutes. Where the hell is my Big Mac with a side of fries? Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.